Hello YouTube world, a special day for Civilization fans. Sid Meier's Civilization 6 comes to the Nintendo Switch as of November 16th, 2018. There will be timestamps in my description highlighting different key events throughout this video as it may be long, convoluted, boring. So let's just go from option to option and see what's new on the Switch version with a controller versus the iPad and or the PC version. Let's see what scenarios we get. Feel free to pause if I go too quick. So that's the scenarios. Multiplayer, local, game options. Here's the downloadable content. Again, feel free to pause as I'm just going to skim through these. So that's all the DLC that's included with the base game. We got a tutorial and I'm going to load a game that's already started a little bit. Now the cloud save is actually with 2K. It's not the Nintendo Switch Online Cloud. Because when you click on it, it'll ask you uh, to sign in with your 2K account. Now, when you make your game, it's the same thing. You choose your leader, you choose the rule, what time era. That's all the, the same. I don't really need to show that. Water. The great beasts of the Stone Age. I wish I had this guy's voice. Taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. Cast your net wide, O Trajan. Emperor of mighty Rome. Your legions stand at the ready to march out and establish the largest empire the world has ever seen. If you can truly get all roads to lead to Rome, yours will be an empire of great riches and luxuries. Surely then our citizens will proclaim you as their best ruler. The so, princess. so that's how long it took for me to be able to click the A button to actually load the game? Boom, here we go. So, right away, the first thing we notice is the visuals. What do I think compared to the computer version? Well, it's not what I think, it's what I know. I mean, I'm satisfied. But there are jagged edges, for sure, of anti-aliasing. So the resolution is naturally going to be uh, lower. I mean, this game is, what, if I can do this uh, really quick? I don't know if I can. Uh, yeah, that was a fail. I'm used to like PS4 where I go to information. I think it's only about uh, 3.5 gigs. Or is it 5.1? Sorry, I bought a couple of games. I don't remember which one's which. It's between 3 and 5 gigs. It's a very small game. So right away for uh, navigation, right? That's the next thing. There is no mouse and keyboard here. So how do you maneuver? Well, it's pretty simple. The left analog stick goes to all the hexes. There is no cursor that you have to move around like in a game like... Uh, the Sims 4 for console, for example, or any other game that uses a virtual cursor with an analog stick. 
This is amazing. I'm really liking this. And then the right analog stick is to pan around. What I call the aim and trigger buttons. Zoom in, or zoom out, zoom in. Pretty simple. When you highlight on something with the A, and you want to go through the uh, different uh, features here, or options, whatever, you use the directional pad. The L button brings this up. The right button brings that up. And uh, X is to end your turn. Right now we're being told to choose a thing. A government. So it's pretty smooth, like I said. I enjoy it. I'm just kind of doing a little bit of uh, gameplay. Don't uh, don't judge me on how much I suck or why did I do this? Why did I go there? We have trained our first range it's just to unit. give you, Capable you know, here's the game, right? Well, out of the range of hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm not really our good at. Yeah, I'm trying to, to do a video. Already. I'm not good at doing actual reviews. I'm just kind of like, here it is. You tell me what you think, sort of speak. But uh, I really do uh, enjoy it. I mean, it's... Uh... The only thing I don't like, if I had to pick the first thing that I don't like about the game that drives me absolutely nuts, is when you highlight a unit and you get that big card at the bottom right, the warrior. Well, when you're playing in tablet mode and you go to attack, for example, I just find it gets in the way. Like here, it's not too bad because you can kind of, you know, move it out of the way. I just found it was a little bit intrusive and there's doesn't seem to be a way to uh, get rid of it. So we have this here. We have this here. See, for options, if we go under interface, we can do mini map size. This is the touch tooltip delay. Is it show grid? What happens if I get rid of the show grid? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know I like seeing the grid. It's that card I don't like seeing. Yeah, I just don't think there's a uh, way to get rid of it. Maybe not a big deal for most people, but for me, it's uh, it's quite annoying. It's just an OCD thing. Let's go with a slinger. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. Yeah, I really wish I had that guy's voice. Now again, I'm not an expert at the game, but if you have questions, if there's something in particular you want me to do or show, I can do that. We're already uh, right at the nine minute mark. I mean, I really can't think of much else to be quite honest with you to really cover in great detail. This is to highlight the game, like I said, how is it different? You know, I've already explained that it looks different because the graphics are on a lower resolution. I've explained that the controller I find works great, the uh, zooming in and out with the trigger and aim or the aim and trigger buttons. The left analog stick goes from hex to hex. The right analog stick moves you around. That's the recap. The L button brings up this panel. The R button brings up that panel. The minus button brings up the tooltip. And then the directional pad when you're highlighting, like on a unit or something. So yeah, it's uh, it works good. 
it's better than I expected. I didn't think it was going to be uh, the way it is with the left analog stick. I thought it was maybe going to be the stupid cursor thing being controlled by the analog stick. So we're at the 10 minute mark. We just hit 10 minutes. I think that's enough. If there's more I'm going to cover, well, then I'll just make another, uh, you know, video. So for 10 minutes, I hope that this was sort of, kind of, a half-decent intro. I mean, going into all the intricate details, I'm not really good at doing. I'm not a civilization expert. I just wanted to present to you, you know, what's here and what my main pet peeve was. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And I'll tell your kids that the Tooth Fairy is bullshit. And uh, I'm just kidding. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be great. And of course, if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls. And I shall see you all in the next video. Remember, just one more turn.